In this video, I'm going to explain Ethereum staking using Redstone. Now the general concept of staking is actually fairly simple. You take your tokens, stake them, and then earn more tokens. So we're going to use Redstone to better understand staking Ethereum or ETH, but this can apply to nearly any proof of stake crypto coin. And don't go anywhere because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you quite possibly the easiest way to stake ETH to earn more ETH. Now Ethereum is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer blockchain network. You can imagine Ethereum as a constantly evolving Minecraft landscape filled with many challenges and opportunities. Anyone can build on Minecraft just like how anyone can build on Ethereum. And with any great Minecraft build comes masterful redstone work. So here's the key. The energy carried by redstone in Minecraft can be likened to Ethereum's native currency, ETH. Because just like how redstone fuels redstone contraptions, ETH fuels the Ethereum network. Now, any Minecraft player knows that there are some of us who are very good at redstone, and some of us who, like me, are very, very, very bad. So at one end of the spectrum, there's me and at the other end are the masters. The master redstone architects are like Ethereum validators. Validators stake ETH to confirm transactions and maintain the security of the network, similar to adding redstone components to a circuit. When validators stake ETH, they are rewarded with additional ETH over time. This is like the yield or output you get from a well-designed redstone system in Minecraft, where your efforts result in valuable resources. Now the upfront cost of becoming a validator can be quite high, which is why staking pools exist. Staking pools are where multiple participants combine their ETH in order to stake, similar to how Minecraft players can collaborate on complicated redstone projects. This allows everyone, big and small, to participate. Validators and people using staking pools can always unstake their ETH. Similar to removing redstone components from a circuit, unstaking will allow users to regain control of their ETH resources, but they forfeit any future rewards because they will no longer be participating in the network. Now this analogy is helpful in understanding the concept of staking, but the technical details are of course much more complex. Even so, just like in Minecraft where redstone experts contribute to the Minecraft landscape's complexity and functionality, ETH stakers contribute to the security and efficiency of the entire Ethereum blockchain. You can easily participate in ETH staking. Perhaps one of the easiest places to stake Ethereum is Coinbase, and no, they are not a sponsor. Coinbase is a centralized exchange where you can link your bank and then buy and stake ETH. The process is actually very straightforward, and there are of course other centralized exchanges where you can stake ETH. But a word to the wise is that all of these, including Coinbase, are centralized. Many people would argue that going self-custody with crypto and using decentralized staking pools is essential, but that's a topic for another video. 